name is Design Ghost and welcome to another episode of our design series where we learn everything design. Okay, so if this is your first time on this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel and kindly hit that notification button to get notified anytime we post a video. So today's tutorial we are going to learn about five poster tips to make your design stand out. Okay, so there are several tips that makes your design pop or stand out from many. And the first on our today's list is resolution. Okay, resolution. So the concept of resolution with regards to design is that anytime you have a smaller size design work, you make your design a smaller size working with you make your your resolution high and then when you have a higher size working with you make your resolution very low because for instance for signboards and then billboards that are put outside you can you, you can attest to the fact that they have really huge sizes and for that matter if you make the resolution high your your machine might probably not work well with it all right and then when you have designs for we are making designs for labels you see they are very small and then for you to be able to see everything on it you got to make the resolution very high so that anything that you are going to write on that small piece of label it is going to be visible so for instance let's try something here so for instance the new and then a size of one by one and let's make the resolution 10 And you see what it has given us so this way anything you are going to force to put in here when you are it is ready to be printed or when you are ready to export it it is going to be very small and everything that you are going to make or every design you are going to put on it is going to be blurred out okay so our next thing for today's tutorial the next thing on the list is camera raw camera raw gives an effect to uh our uh, design in several ways okay so most importantly what you can do to your working document to give it the camera raw touches to make merge all the layers and make it into one being at the top without merging the rest of them and then you can apply your camera raw settings to it to give you the effect that you want you can tweak it you can change the color and all those okay so this particular design there will be a link uh, in the uh, up there linking to this design yeah if you want to learn how to make a uh, cover art for a music you can watch the tutorial and take out some tips okay so let's get back to into our video so the camera roll so you first of all anytime normally photoshop has a lock symbol behind our background so you take it off you select all by holding shift and then you use the control alt e to make a duplicate of your whatever task you have and then you use the shortcut control shift a to move to the camera roll settings okay and inside your camera roll settings you can do a lot in here you can add up an exposure you can add up an exposure shadows highlight texture clarity and as well as favorite you can add up colors contrast cool okay so let me choose soft mist let's see if we are going to have an interesting look here So with just a click you can change the color and the appearance of your your flyer using the camera raw settings okay the next thing on our list is the loops okay to so control back and then the loops there are also color gradients you can give to your final work so so the same way you merge all your layers using the control shift the control alt e and then you move to your image adjustment and then color lookups and then here you have the loot so the loot you can load up loot and photoshop has some form of default loot which you can use to change your color so 
you use your up arrow and you can navigate through the loots the default loot to choose whichever one you want okay the next on our list is um, lens okay so let's create a new document And there are several ways of creating lens flare for your work so depending on the outcome you want okay so let's try a few of them so we are going to give a background of black choose our brush to increase it a bit and let's use blue okay other layer and so this way we have a lens flare okay and you can tweak it anyhow you want it so let's see the various ways you can tweak it this and you have a lens layer control j so we can have duplicates of it so control t hold shift this way this way and you have a different form of lens layer let's bring that up control g wrap let's do let's see arc and this way to You have a different form of lens flare. And the last one. Right click. Perspective. And we have another form of a lens flare. And the last tip on our list is shadows all right so shadows gives uh flat objects a perspective look and kind of 3d looks to to help our designs pop and stand out in various options okay so let's try that one too and see so we have a uh, let's take off the black background so yeah. So this shape looks, it looks like a flat object. It is a flat object, but the moment you add a shadow to it, it gives it a perspective look and it becomes a 3D look, all right? So we select our brush, add a layer, right click, and make it a bit close, let's close it. Bring the layer down, black, and we have a shadow you can resize it position it and make it look a bit nicer so that your design can stand out or whatever object you are giving it a shadow can stand out okay so this brings us to the end of today's episode if this video was helpful to you remember to give it a thumbs up so that youtube can recommend it for others to also enjoy or benefit okay so if you are new here and you've not subscribed yet kindly subscribe to this channel and kindly hit that notification button to get notified anytime we post a video
okay i thank you and i appreciate your time see you in the next episode bye